Hello boys and girls. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the latest non-hype sneaker drops for October. Uh, I know we've only got a couple of weeks left, but I'm gonna do this every month. Um, so everything that's not Nike, Nike, Jordan, Adidas, Yeezy. So obviously we've got A6, Theodora, Sacconi, New Balance, Kahu, Mizuno, Kangaroos, anything that, that basically, to be honest, that I really like that's coming out in October, that's not a pile of shit. So let's go. So first and foremost, A6 as always, and we've got a new gel like three with the Dusty Step. It's part of the Pearl Pack. So we already had the Iron Clad release, I think last month. So as you can see, it's covered in a really, really beautiful, like pigskin suede brown upper with brown leather tiger stripes and then brown pattern leather for the heel counter and toe box mudguard area. Then that really crisp and striking white midsole with a gum outer sole. They haven't been released yet in the UK, EU and Asia, but they are online on asics.com in the US. Um, so yeah, they should be the standard like one, three, five dollars. So yeah, if you're into it, go grab a pair, gorgeous shoe. Okay, this is probably my pick of the month. Um, and you know, I've been seeing big things from Kangaroo recently, and this is a collab they've done with the boys at A Few. The A Few Kangaroos Omnicoil 2 Jelly, made in Germany. Uh, obviously two German brands there coming together, and these are just really premium, really unique. And the thing with Kangaroos, they actually are really premium. I think at retail they go for about 250 euros. And the theme is all around jelly. So, you know, you've got, well, I think it's like jelly and peanut butter because you've got, so the heel counter, you know, peanut butter and the, um, and the inner lining. And then you've got really supple leather reds and suede on the toe box with those gorgeous laces, kind of Ronnie Feig-esque um, and a lovely little a few Dubray. I think they're sold out or they were a raffle only release. So if you do want them, you're probably gonna have to wait around for the secondary market. I know I do, but you know, sometimes that's the thing. Another thing with these is that they come in this really beautiful Perspex case and you get an actual pot of jelly. Um, you know, and another reason why brands like this are so much more interesting and so much more worthwhile sort of collecting and then buying. You know, I've never seen Yeezy or Jordan that give you perishable goods. Okay, now a bit of New Balance. Obviously, we've all been seeing big things with the 1906, but now they've actually done a collab with Atmos, uh, obviously a huge collaborator with all sneaker brands. And to be fair, this is a beautiful shoe. Uh, it's called the Tokyo Dimension and inspired by Tokyo's eccentric personality and sort of the street lights and things. If you're interested in a pair, they've only been released in Asia via Atmos. They might still be available um, and they're going for about 125 USD. That's 17,600 yen. Um, yeah, just a gorgeous shoe. I'm sure they'll pop up on StockX and things. Well done New Balance, well done Atmos. I don't think he's dropped the ball on these at all. Joe Fresh Goods is back at it again with another New Balance, this time the 993 in a pack called the Performance R, which actually has a really good initiative behind it. So he's partnered up with like this resource company called Every Now and Then in Chicago, his hometown. And you can actually enter the raffle to get a pair, but when your name comes up and you come to pick them up, you've got to hand in either a new or gently used book or art supply that meets their criteria. And the donation requirements, like the books, books need to feature diverse characters, uh, good for beginning readers, award-winning children's books, graphic novels, non-fiction texts, focused on animal sports, science, black history, etc. Any books from the diverse book wish list. And then art supplies could be whatever. Moleskin notebooks journals, why moleskin? But yeah, okay. Nicely done, very him, fair play to him. I think he's really cementing himself as a collaborator. Uh, it just always has really good initiatives. So yeah, wicked stuff. Right, now, suck and eat, and we've actually got two absolute flipping bangers. So first up, and this is still available on the Suckany website, worldwide I believe, is the Suckany Shadow 6000 New York Cheesecake. And I've actually got a pair in my basket online. I've just got to put my head on straight after this video and see if I'm gonna buy them. But they are fucking nice, I'll be honest. Um, and for some reason, whenever Suckany do a collab, it always seems to be food related. 
you know, like you got the end burger or they did that like pineapple thing um, as well as like the avocado toast. So now we've got a cheesecake to represent New York, obviously strawberry. Um, yeah, I just, these just hit, hit in all sorts of different ways. I am think I'm gonna check out my pair. You never know, I might have a review soon for these. I just gotta think about it. So secondly, I've also done a collab with a Zar face on the Azura called the Zarconi. These actually officially released the other day at New York Comic Con. So that's why you can see from the artwork and stuff, it's all very comic book based, uh, real MF Doom vibes for sure. And now they will have a wider release. I don't know how wide, it'll probably be only a few hundred pairs on the Super 7 website and the Sakoni website. Haven't got any news about that yet, but if you want a pair, then I'd uh, follow Sakoni and Super 7 on Instagram and just wait and find out. And finally, Mizuno, who again, don't get nearly enough shine, that do make some wicked shoes. They've actually come out with a pack inspired by Matcha Tea called the Ceremony of Tea Pack. There's a Contender S and a Sky Medal S. Uh, both silhouettes are designed with balance in mind as Mizuno pairs quality materials together for performance and artistic harmony. Of course they do. Each sneaker comes in shades of off-white, matching green and navy, as you can see. They are available now to buy from Mizuno.com. That's it, I'm going to do another non-hype sneaker releases and news for November in a couple of weeks. If you're not already, please subscribe. Please give this a like. If you don't like or if you want to see other things, then comment down below and I'll see you soon. Bruh!